What's going on guys? It's your boy Midnight Man. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have another tutorial for you guys and it's more of an extension off of the other tutorial I did about how to record your party chat on your PlayStation. I really didn't mention about what the product was but it's super useful when you're trying to record your gameplay and you want to listen to the game audio at the same time while your party chat and all that's being recorded. And this is it. It's called the Elgato Chat Link Cable except this one's by Ienza and well when I got this Elgato didn't have their chat chat link cable in stock on Amazon so what I did I just found a supplemental cable another company that had the same literally the same thing and I bought that and it worked th exactly the same way I've been using this cable for a while now it's been pretty useful I've been doing a few streams with it as you guys may have seen across my channel for a little bit I've been using this cable because I just can't play a game and not hear the audio through my headphones. It makes it very hard to play a game such as Fortnite where I'm trying to listen to footsteps, trying to figure out where people are, and I can't do that if I'm just playing through the TV. It, it's much harder. So with this cable, I'm still able to hear that game audio through my controller with my headphones while it's being recorded. If you already have this cable, I'm gonna show you how to set it up. And even if you haven't gotten the cable yet, this will be pretty informative just so you know how to do it when you get it. First off, make sure your Elgato Game Capture Card is set up with the PS4 like you normally would. If you're not sure how to do that, I left the link description below. I show you in detail how to set it up with your console. Xbox, I, I mean, you might be able to use this chat link cable with it. I've never tried it, but if you have a um, that mail slot on your controller where you normally listen with your headphones, and this works the same way, but I just don't have hands-on experience using the chat link cable with the Xbox. Also, for this to work, your capture card must be an HD60 or better. You can't do this with the original Elgato. There's no female input for you to put this cable into. It's just HDMI, USB, AV, AV, that, that, man, that's some back in the day stuff. For my equipment, I have the HD60S. I like the capture card. It's been working really well for me on my MacBook Pro. Solid. Anyways, the next part to this setup is if you're on this end of the cable where you have the male cable and then you also have this female part, this male part, you're gonna wanna plug into your controller. It's like so, I got my PS4 thing right here. Gonna plug that baby in. That's how you get your gameplay audio to come through. Now the female end right here is for your headphones because this part right here is literally splitting the audio. One end is going to go into your capture card. The other one's going to go into your controller. So just put that baby in. And then like I just said, this far end here, the long part, this is going to go into your capture card. You're going to have a little port, 3.5 millimeter, where you can plug this far male end into. All right, sweet. You got that set up. Wasn't too hard, but you realize that you can hear your gameplay through your headphones, but it's not coming through to the capture card on the stockware. Well, the problem is it's still using the HDMI audio through the speakers of the TV to come through. And unfortunately, PlayStation doesn't allow that dual audio thing where it could come through your headphones and come through the speakers of, this, of the TV at the same time so that you can still record the gameplay and just mute the TV. Doesn't work like that. I wish they had this feature. I, I mentioned this in so many videos. I'm hoping somebody listened to me at some point so it would make it easier to record good quality footage and, and gameplay and whatever. But to fix this problem, you're gonna wanna go into your Elgato settings. And under the capture tab, you wanna scroll down to input. And then next to that, you'll see an option to select the analog audio. That part right there will fix your problem not getting the gameplay audio. But the next part here is for some reason, this audio comes in so soft where you can barely hear Hear it so I usually go over to the audio tab and I just checked it to about two because if I have it too loud it'll just be too noisy you'll hear the static in the background it won't sound very good after you've done those two things just select ok and then under the game audio section I maxed out my decibel levels for the audio because it amplifies it more cleanly than the other audio option so that's it guys that's all you have to do to set up the Elgato chat link now I've had some concerns of my own after using this over time and streaming with it, I've seen some messages of people saying that the audio doesn't sound right, you know, what's the problem? Especially while I've been streaming and looking at your, your comments and your messages. And that's been with the game audio. Um, I don't know what's up with it. It doesn't sound right, it doesn't sound crystal clear. But at least here, I'm going to show you guys a compare and contrast between the audio, what it sounds like with the chat link cable, compared to what it sounds like using HDMI if I was playing it out the speakers, recording it that way, and unfortunately not being able to use my headphones. But 
Whatever, let's get into the test. This first clip is using the chat link cable audio. I kept all my settings the same just as I showed you in this tutorial by increasing the decibel levels in the Elgato software in the settings and in the game audio. I also increased the audio in the game itself in its own application settings so that I could just get it as loud as I could because the chat link cable brings in the sound soft for some reason. So take a listen. All right, so you're probably telling yourself, well, this audio sounds good. What's wrong with it? It's not bad. Let's head over to the HDMI audio. Now, with this, I had to unplug the chat link cable from my controller. I wasn't using headphones at all, because remember, you can't do dual audio outputs for the PlayStation. I also had to go back in my Elgato settings and deselect with analog option. And then I also had to turn down the decibel levels in my settings and in the game audio, because this sound comes in way louder. Take a listen. At this point, you probably see my concern. The sound using HDMI is way louder than using the chat link cable, and this is without having to increase the decibel levels in HDMI. It, it's, it's ridiculous, honestly. I, I really wish that the chat link cable could have higher audio, so this is why you guys have been complaining about my audio in streams not being all that loud and sounding a little funny. It's because I can't have it that loud, and if I'm using this mic, sometimes you hear the fan of the PlayStation in the background making noise, so it just... It just kind of messes things up, so I wish I could increase this game audio more using the chat link cable, but I can't, and I, I really want to use headphones. And also, I think it's good to note that I've never had an issue using my microphone or anything using in the chat party at, at all. Like, the party audio with my friends comes in nice. Uh, I use a secondary mic so that I can talk with my friends, and I use another mic, like the Yeti, to record my voice when I'm making commentaries or I'm streaming. Another thing that's critical to keep in mind is that if you try to charge a controller while you're streaming or recording, you're going to get this crazy electricity noise in the background. Just here, check this out. All right, so you guys all see I'm in a game just like normal. Sounds all right. But if I go and try to plug my controller in to get a charge, get a little juice in, this is the sound it's going to make. And you got to keep this in mind if you're going to own the chat link cable for Elgato. You're gonna get this crazy noise. That's literally the electricity going through the wire. As you can tell, this doesn't sound good at all. Something to keep in mind, just be aware of it. There is a bit of a workaround for it. I'll leave a link in the description below to a video that I found that helps with this. But yeah, it, it is what it is. Okay, so that was the compare and contrast. You can probably tell there is a bit of a difference between using the chat link cable and then using HDMI to get your audio. I don't know if it's a bad cable. I don't know if it's the product from this knockoff company, Ienza. Maybe I should have used the regular Elgato chat link cable from Elgato. I mean, I don't think it should have really made a difference. It's just wires and cables just transferring audio data. Like, what's the issue? You can still use HDMI and your headphones, but what you're going to have to do is make sure you have the Elgato HD60S and you can plug in your headphones into your computer, you know, you know, regular port, plug in your headphones and then listen to the game audio and the chat and everything else through the computer. But the problem that might come with this is that there could be a delay depending on your laptop. Like my MacBook Pro, I have to use these dongles to, to get uh, like my USB data and all that stuff. So there was a, just an ever so slight delay, like a half a second. And in my headphones, I can hear the, uh, the gameplay, but it's just slightly behind so like the footsteps are behind and then i'm also hearing my my voice like with my microphone and it's just it's totally annoying i couldn't do it i couldn't stand it that's why i got the chat link cable but the the gameplay audio is just a little bit not as high quality as it should be which is unfortunate but if you have a direct connection to your computer where you'll hear everything in real time 
that'll work perfectly. You'll just have to deal a lot with hearing your own voice. Anyways, guys, if you came to enjoy the video, make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up. Helps my channel out a ton. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're interested in other tutorials I might have on my channel, I have a whole playlist. It's on my channel. Just go to the playlist tabs. It's right there. I'll even like put it up on screen at the end of the video if you want to check out some of the other tutorials that I have. Uh, besides that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.